What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tinder Tasty Tea Days. If you guys don't know what Tinder Tasty Tea Days is, basically, Tinder Tasty Tea Days is where every Tuesday, the family and I come together and we get lit. We rate Wizard 101 stitches sent in by you guys via Twitter. That means send me a stitch to rate, my friend, please. If you want to submit a stitch yourself, my friend, all you got to do is go to Twitter, use the hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Days. Make sure you at me in the post and leave a image of your stitch. Once you do that, I'll see it and I'll rate it. And yeah, that's really about it. I'm also starting a new event called Stitch Off. If you guys are interested in that, winner takes home $50, $50, you know? It's a huge stitch competition where the community gets together and we just pretty much get a winner for the best looking stitch out of everyone that submits their stitches. If you want to submit your stitch for Stitch Off, all you got to do is join the Discord server and leave the image of your stitch in the server and that's, that's it. And then you're done. Links to that will be down in the description. And yeah, that's really all right. Let's go ahead and get started with this episode of Tinder Tasty Tea Days. Whoa, yeah, Corvette, Corvette, hop in the cut in the jet like that. Like For this episode of Tinder Tasty Tea Days, we got a stitch sent in by my boy, Michael. Michael said, here is my stitch at Smojo SF, hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Days. Michael, good job. Good, good, good job on the post. You did good. You added me. You, 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 you followed me. You hashtag. Good shit, bro. Good shit. Now, if you guys don't know how we rate stitches over here at Tinder Tasty Tea Days, there's some emojis at the top, as you can see. I will shall explain each and every one. Now, the eyes basically mean, is the stitch good looking? You know what I mean? In general, does it look good? You know, does, does it, does it, is it appealing to the eye? The brain emoji is, does it make sense? Uh, are all the gear that you're using, does it correlate with one another and actually make sense to put those things together? The uh, star is how unique the gear is. Is it hard to get? Is it easy? easy to get have we seen it before have we never seen it before stuff like that and the uh, 100 up there is all of those combined for your overall rating of your 1 through 10 rating so yeah let's go ahead and do this all right my friend michael now now uh, let me let me take a good look let me let me let me just pause and really take a good look at this because you know i i don't think it's bad now to be honest i'm not very familiar with the gear that you're using i will attempt to make a familiar R word. Um, your boots are from Caramel. The wand that you're using is from uh, Darkmoor. Um, your robe is the PVP robe, and then your hat is the elegant hat, I believe. Not insignia, elegant hat. Now let's start out with the first emoji. Does it look nice? Honestly, don't look bad. It really doesn't look bad. Now, I, 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 I there's some things that I see that can improve for sure, but it doesn't look bad. I love the fact that your gear as a whole has kind of like a bronze trim to it. If you, if you look at the robe, there's like a bronze like trim around the purple, which I like. If you look at the boots, it has that same kind of like bronze slash gold. I don't know what color that is, but it's like a trim of shininess. And then at the hat, you have like those little buttons at the top. So like, I feel like it really does correlate with one another, honestly. Now, obviously there are some things that I don't like. For one, uh, the purple in the robe does not match the same purple in the hat. But I don't think there's really anything you can do about that. I just think it's the way that Wizard 101 color system is fuck. Um, but, but other than that, you know, I, and the fact that the boots also have like no type of purple in them that's another thing that i don't think you could do anything about unless you have a primary black and a secondary purple then you could do something about it however i do feel like those boots in that robe could could work if i don't know if you could change some colors in the boots or the robe to make them mesh better but if you can i feel like that combination would be kind of nice now for your hat i feel like there's so much detail and so much going on within the boots and the robe and your hat is kind of like plain and simple where it doesn't it, it kind of just it doesn't like mesh like it's supposed to you know now if uh, you know I, i'm not very big on, on insignia gear but if you were to get an insignia hat for that that could maybe fix that fix that problem because that's a non-insignia hat so if you were to get like a nice little details of your school or whatever it could maybe add a little bit more detail to the hat to where it'll mesh better with the amount of detail that's in the robe slash your boots. And as for the wand, I don't like it. I don't like the wand. I, I it, like the wand. I, I feel like you you definitely need a different wand. Like like that wand just, in my opinion, it just doesn't work for this entire stitch. You know what I mean? If you're gonna go with a stitch like this, I would recommend getting. If you want to go for a sword. 
I would recommend getting the sword that uh, you get from fishing, the black and purple sword you get from fishing, or I would get the katana that's purple. Something that isn't plain and has some type of detail to it, and it also has purple since your your stitches, it, it's 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 shouting purple, black, white, and gold to me. So so if you were to get like a wand that 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 has those characteristics, I think it would be dope. I really do. But yeah, the wand that you're using right now, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But yeah, as for your rating, bro, I'm gonna give you like a seven. I'm, I'm gonna give you a straight up seven. Like, I don't think it's bad. Like, really? I really don't think it's bad. Like, there are some 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 downsides. Like, you know, your wand, the colors of the boots, and the, the detail of the hat. Um, Other than that, I think it's like a decent state. Now, does it make sense? The second rating, the, the brain emoji, does it make sense? Uh, I mean, for the most part, it does make sense. The only thing that I don't think makes sense is your wand, honestly. Like, your wand will be... It, okay your wand would make sense if you didn't have a shield like i'm looking at that stitch and i'm like if 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 i ran across a wizard with this stitch i would assume that they would have a wand like a staff right or they would have just a sword they wouldn't have the shield when i imagine somebody with a sword and a shield i imagine somebody with a full plate of armor on metaled out and everything bro you're not metaled out like that you know like at the most because you have the pvp row that has the swords on the back i would assume you would have like a katana or just a sword or just a a, a staff you know what i mean i would not assume the the shield at all but yeah for your does it make sense rating i'm gonna give you like an eight you know it does make sense except the 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 wand that you're using everything else makes sense basically it's just a wand really it is really just a wand all right for the next one we're gonna go with uniqueness is your stitch actually unique um honestly bro the hat we already know the hat's not unique you like you could probably buy that in the shopping district right for your wand you have to go through dark more it's not the it's not the hardest drop to get through dark more to be honest um for your robe i actually have no clue to get that robe i i'm assuming you get it from pvp right that's what i'm assuming i, I assume you just get tickets and then you could just buy it because it's a PVP robe, but, but I really don't know. Um, and for your boots, I mean, they're caramel boots and they're probably everywhere. So when it comes to uniqueness, um, actually, I'm going to change that. I was going to give you a low rating because of that. But at the same time, you have to take into account how many people actually use this gear. We all see that hat everywhere like that. The hat's pretty much used a lot. The boots, I haven't seen a lot of people use the boots as a stitch. And I also haven't seen a lot of people use that wand as a stitch. Now, the robe is a little bit in the middle because I have seen it before. You know what I mean? So, I mean, for you, your, your uniqueness, if we're taking into account the different pieces of gear that you have, how unique they are, how much we see them and how hard they are to get. I think I'm gonna give you a seven on that one as well. I think I'm gonna give you a seven, you know, probably towards the low side, maybe a six, but uh, I'm gonna push it up to a seven, you know, just, just a little bit, just a little bit. Overall, my friend, I, your, your rating is a seven out of 10. It's not a bad stitch. Like it really isn't a bad stitch. The only ways I can see your stitch improving is if you change your wand to something that's glowing with the, the color purple or gold or something like that, that would work better. Um, maybe try to get an insignia hat for your hat because the amount of detail your hat has does not, does not correlate with the amount of detail the boots in a robe have. Um, and see if you could change the color of your boots to have some type of purple in there. Um, other than that, you know, I think your stitch isn't, it's not too bad. You know, it's not a, it's really not a bad stitch. Um, there's definitely a uniqueness factor in there that I like, but I definitely think it could be a lot better, you know? But yeah, seven out of 10. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Tinder Tasty T Days. Don't forget, if you want to submit your stitch for Tinder Tasty T Days, all you got to do is head over to Twitter and make a post with your stitch in the image using the hashtag Tinder Tasty T Days and make sure you at me in the post because that's what nice people do. Also, if you want to compete in the stitch off competition head over to the discord server go to hashtag whiz 101 stitch off and just leave an image of your stitch you can submit how 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 you can submit as many as you want um and we'll get the competition rolling once there's a you know a decent amount of stitches in there so yeah thank you for watching guys and hopefully you enjoy it have a great evening morning afternoon whatever the fuck time it is for you make sure you beat your meats and i will be uh seeing you later